Hey guys, what's going on? It is Lynx Warlord here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a very quick gaming review of the Scuf Gaming Controller for the PlayStation 3. Now, guys, obviously you probably will have seen reviews for this type of controller from Scuf before, so I'm not going to go ahead and give you all the basic tips and uh, information about it. I'm just going to tell you how absolutely fantastic they are, what they look like, and some of the bad points to do with it as well, because on YouTube, you tend to see just the good points because people get them for free, but I'm going to give you some of the bad points as well. Now, obviously, the great points are that it's got the paddles in the back, which you can knife and jump with, which is absolutely fantastic. Saves you a lot of gunfights, and it, uh, it's it's a nice mechanic. It makes the game really fun. It makes it really easy. You can jump around a lot more. Uh, it's, it's, it's really nice to have, and it's really pleasant. But one of the problems is with it is when you're getting used to it is really difficult and knowing when to use it because when i first started using this controller i was jumping around absolutely everywhere i was trying to go for commando knifing just jumping around like a total lunatic so definitely you have to get used to it but the other aspect of it is the price now this price for this controller right here was uh, it would have been about a hundred pounds which is going to be looking at like a uh, hundred and thirty dollars which is quite a lot of money for a controller but should you still buy it now the answer to that depends on how much you play shooter games now let's just think of call of duty for now now if you play call of duty a lot you need to get one of these because this is absolutely fantastic but if you don't play very often then you don't really need one of these controllers because you won't get your money's worth out of it and the reason i'm saying you won't get your money's worth out of it is because the new consoles are set to be coming out next year so you're going to be spending you know a hundred pounds on a controller that that won't be used that, that you can't use after a year so it pretty much it might become a little bit useless if you don't use it a hell of a lot so if you're going to buy one now buy it now to get your money's worth out of it if you play a lot of games but guys just look at this controller how beautiful is that it's such it's a lovely lovely pattern on it it's the skull pattern i think this is the reaper ps it's got the grip on the back here military grade grip it's got the scuff seal of approval guys enough about the bad points this controller is fucking amazing it is absolutely it's so fun to play with the grip stops your hands from sweating or something like that and it's just a hell of a lot of fun guys you know i've not really said so much about the panels because the paddles on the back everybody knows what they do you just click them down nice and jumps really easy to use your hands fit perfectly onto them they're really stable and sturdy and if you play it on flipped you've also got little trigger stops right there i don't know if you can see them but a lot of people don't play on that button layout, so you just use these. And there's no difference like on the Xbox, but that's there if you do play on flip. You know, you can throw your grenades really, really fast. But yeah, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this quick little review. It's a really nice controller to have around. It's absolutely gorgeous. The case is absolutely great. I don't know why you'd need it unless you go to gaming events, but you do get a case for about a tenner on top of it. So as always, guys, it has been Link's Warlord. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next video, guys.